Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and today I want to show you guys how to draw the Ankylosaurus version of Crash McCreary. And this drawing was actually requested by Costa Manzanas. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but some names just are very uh, hard to pronounce. So yeah, um, and the reason, by the way, that I always try to start off with an, an image in front of the camera is because if I uh, this is how, uh, better to focus my camera so now I'm focused on this particular uh, distance and uh, when I start drawing it will kind of like always be focused on that distance and uh, if I try to do it with just this white blank piece of paper it's gonna be very hard because there's nothing there's, there's no shadow there's no there's actually nothing that I can uh, focus on so <clears throat> okay so let's get into the video what you want to start off with drawing is a line I like this we're gonna start on this side yeah we're gonna start on this side of the paper and draw a line like this so this is actually going to be the line for uh, where his hip will start kind of, uh, not, not his hip, I mean his shoulder kind of starts and then his back goes something like this and then he has a very large kind of back almost like the, the shape of the uh, stegosaurus and then his back kind of goes like this because over here will be his tail just trying to get the shapes right And this will kind of be his tail. And then from here on it goes something like this. Something looks a little bit like this, maybe this should be a little bit more like this, a little bit fatter and then his tail kind of goes like this so this is actually kind of the basic shape of a large herbivore, a dinosaur walking on, for, um, on four legs so over here about the middle will be his hip strange place for a dinosaur's hip to be but there will be a hip and about over here somewhere will be his kind of the place where his front limb will start alright so let's start with his front arm go something like this about the same length over here and over here will be his um, elbow this part goes kind of like this and at about the same height as his elbow goes his lower arm which is a little longer than this part and then there's his foot connected to it something that looks kind of a little like this maybe his 
elbow could be a little bit lower. All right. So this is his front leg. Now we can focus on doing his hind leg. He has a very large hind leg. And his leg kind of goes like this. And his knee will be about <coughs> over here. And over here will be the other part of his leg. And then this will kind of go like... I'm just building up a skeleton bet in, uh, between those lines because I drew this part like four times, three or four times and every single time it went wrong. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, I want to try and get this at the, about the same height. So something like this should be fine, I believe. And then it goes like this because he's standing on his toes. This could be even a little bit more like this. And then A muscle over here starts about over here. All right, and I'm still not really sure about uh, the length of this one. They are really far apart, so maybe it could be a little bit longer. not going to make it too long but a little bit longer won't be such a big problem I believe let's erase this all right we're going to keep this kind of like this now we want to draw in his other limbs. This one goes like this, and then it just goes like this. almost touches his front limb I'm just trying to get it right because again, like I already told you, I've done this a couple of times over and over. And uh, this turns out to be the hardest dinosaur I ever tried to make a tutorial of. Because it kept, um, I kept screwing some things up and then I had to start over again. Right, this looks a little bit better, so I'm gonna stick to that. All right, and now comes the part where I keep screwing up, and that's his neck because he has a very strange, strange neck. That's my opinion, at least. All 
Alright, so his neck goes something like this, and then over here already his head is attached to it. Already. And I believe his neck is supposed to be a little longer than this, so I'm going to try to draw it a little longer, and this should be a little bit more like this. Alright, this should be fine for now. So that's going to be his neck. Well, the reason why this is so hard is because normally a dinosaur neck goes like this, and then his back goes like that. But on this dinosaur, this armor goes all the way until the back of his head. So it has a very strange curve all the way till his head. Right, let's draw in his head right now. So what we want to do is make some shape like this. Something like that. So that's gonna be the shape of his head. Not exactly, but something like it. And over here he will have a very big horn that goes like this. And then it goes like this. And then he also has one horn over here. Which is also a very big one, but this one is a little bit, kind of a little bit different. Okay. And he has one very large horn about over here. At his cheek. On his cheek, actually. Then his bottom jaw starts over here, shaped something like this. Alright, this is the basic shape of his head. And then over here, it goes almost like a beak, but I'm not sure if he has a beak in the Jurassic Park movies. I don't think so. Kind of something like this. And then this is shaped a little bit differently. this as well all right and of course we want to be able to draw in his eye so for his eye there's something like this over here and then he has something like this. And on top of this there are like very tiny little kind of horns and maybe some really big and tough scales. And his eye will be about over here. Underneath all that. It's kind of shaped like this. Right, so that's going to be his eye. And then his nose will be about over here. Shaped like this. And then there's something like this. Okay, so 
So now we at least have the basics on paper. Now we still need to focus on his tail, the big thing on the end of his tail. Kind of like something like this. And then there's also something like this. Oh, this is supposed to be a little bit longer. Alright, I believe this looks about alright. So the shape of this Ankylosaurus looks pretty, pretty decent, I believe. And now we have to uh, put in the lines as to where his kind of uh, armor will be and stuff. This might be a little bit lower. A little bit more like this. So this looks about fine. So again, now we have to uh, put in this kind of lines for the armor and stuff. So the armor goes like this over here. slightly over his shoulder and over here it goes like this it also just barely touches these lines and then it just kind of stays in the middle over here and it slowly kind of disappears once we get to the end of his tail. So now we need to uh, count how many rows there are. So there's one row going like this, going all the way to the top of his. Well, this row goes something like this, and then something like this. And this one goes like this, and, and this one goes a little bit more like this. This one's also a little straighter, and they get larger and larger, just slightly larger every time. So there are, there are two more that don't touch the leg part. One, two and this one does then there's one more that goes like this over here another one that goes like this and from here on it's just very hard to see but just let's just keep kind of the same distance between every thing so what we want to want to do uh, now is kind of erase this line a little bit, just a little, because we're gonna draw some spikes on top of them. So there's a very tiny one over here, a very small one. Then there's another very small one over here. This one is a little bit tinier. Then they get a little bit bigger around here. And they are angled backwards a little bit more. And they just get bigger and bigger just like on the stegosaurus 
The biggest ones are over here. And then they just get a little bit smaller and smaller. So my drawing isn't going to be exactly like the Crash McGreevy version, but it will kind of, uh, I'll use his drawing as reference. Alright, and over here there won't really be that much, there will just be a lot of wrinkles and scales and stuff. Okay. And now we need to draw in a second row. And these kind of are, they are very close to these ones. Very close. This one is actually over here. And then this one is also touching the other one. This one is over here. This one is over here. this one over here and just try to uh, copy what I'm doing right here that way you will get uh, very close to the real Crash McGreary version let's see if it can focus a little better All right this is just a little better and it just continues on until over here I believe but over here it stops one more I'm gonna draw in one more over there and then it just kind of stops with uh, the two rows alright and over here there's something well let's first try and draw in these lines like how they are supposed to be And actually, we are at the point where we can um, go over every line, make it a little bit darker. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back when that's done. Yeah, I said that a little bit too early. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I went over every important line, and now I, I need to uh, get a line going over here. This is supposed to be a little bit higher up, like this, and then this is supposed to go like this. Alright, something like this should be fine. So now we still need to uh, draw in those uh, details and stuff. So what we're going to start with is making some circles at um, about every end of this kind of thing. Because over there there will be horns. Uh, well, not horns, but very long and huge spikes will be there and we're going to draw them in those circles the last one is about over here so it starts like this this is the first one and this is a very small one as well and I'm drawing them in very dark instantly, immediately because I really want them to be really dark I want them to be very clearly visible and there's another one over here as well this one is a little bit larger and there's a huge one over here 
I believe, let's see, yeah, this one is over here, and it actually goes kind of like this, it also goes over uh, this part of his leg, this part of his leg is supposed to be a little bit more like this, and then there's a huge one that's really actually pointing at us. I want this one to be a little bit more like this. This one is actually pointing at us. Just a really big kind of something like this. This one is going the other way. that and then a very big one over here that almost touches the leg his leg another large one over here but this one is a little bit higher And there's one over here. And just try and draw these kind of huge uh, pointy scales in. And over here they just kind of change in size. And they stay at about this size. Just a few large ones on the end of his tail. Alright, so this should be about something like what it's supposed to be and I'm going to make one extra over here because I made this one a little bit too far uh, back so I want to make one more extra extra a very small one over here so he has one more of those than the original photo so yeah I'll be making a second part of this so be sure to check uh, to check the second part out as well because I noticed that a lot of you guys uh, if I make three parts a lot of you guys skip to the last part to see what it looks like and so and, and um, yeah just try to watch everything if you have the time and try to actually uh, try to replicate what I'm drawing because it's really a tutorial for you guys to get better at drawing and stuff I'm teaching you guys some shortcuts that I that, that took me like uh, weeks maybe months to learn so yeah if you like the video leave a like comment below what you think about the drawing uh, until now and don't forget to subscribe so this was Dinosaur Drawer and I'll see you guys in the next part goodbye